The Lord gave me this vision. I do pray this message blesses you. And as always, take everything back to the Lord for confirmation. In the vision, God showed me a vision of a baby crowning out of the womb. This baby was birthing itself. The baby was strong enough to pull itself out of the womb. The baby came crawling out of the womb. God is stating, this promise is overdue. This promise has birthed itself. Once you got into the correct position, the promise was able to birth itself. And what position do you ask? You got into the presence of the Lord. You sought his face. Do you know what faith it takes to seek the face of the Lord? To seek the presence of the Lord? The faith that makes the impossible possible? With God, all things are possible. So God gave me a lot of scripture to go along with this vision. To help me understand what he's stating is being birthed. So he led me to Romans 8, 18 and 19 and also 22 and 23. So it's Romans chapter 8 verses 18 and 19 and verses 22 and 23. Yet what we suffer now is nothing compared to the glory he will reveal to us later. For all creation is waiting eagerly for that future day when God will reveal who his children really are. For we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. And we believers also groan, even though we have the Holy Spirit within us as a foretaste of future glory. For we long for our bodies to be released from sin and suffering. We too wait with eager hope for the day when God will give us our full rights as his adopted children, including the new bodies he has promised us. So this promise is overdue. <laughs> as it states, for we know that all creation has been groaning as in the pains of childbirth right up to the present time. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so there are a lot of things that are coming about um, in regards to this. So let me see where he wants to lead me now. And also with that first Peter five ten through 11 in his kindness, God called you to share in his eternal glory by means of Christ Jesus. So after you have suffered a little while, he will restore support and strengthen you and he will place you on a firm foundation. All power to him forever. Amen. So, yes, God is stating this is the time for restoration. He is going to support and strengthen you. And he is placing you on a firm foundation. He is establishing you. So, let me see here. And this is because of uh, you seeking his face in his presence. And you coming to him with such faith in his presence. And as it states, as it states with God. All things are possible. Hallelujah. So according to Deuteronomy 429. But if from there you seek the Lord your God. You will find him if you seek him with all your heart and with all your soul. And you found him. Hallelujah. Okay. See here. So with the crowning that he showed me in the beginning of this vision. He led me to Zechariah. Um first in Zechariah uh, chapter 2 verses 5 and 13 and I myself will be a wall of fire around it declares the Lord and I will be its glory within be still before the Lord all mankind because he has roused himself from his holy dwelling hallelujah hallelujah God is building you setting you on a firm foundation and he is going to be a ring of fire around it he is going to be protection around it this is a firm foundation and he is going to be the glory within. Hallelujah. Zechariah 6, 11. Take the silver and gold and make a crown and set it on the head of the high priest Joshua, son of Josedek. So, yes, this is a, um, a crowning of you coming in a, into a position in the Lord. God is giving you authority. Um, basically, he's giving you a mantle. 
He's giving you the promise. He is establishing you. Hallelujah. And then he also gave me chapters uh, Amos here. Yes, uh, in Amos uh, 9, verses 11, 13, and 15. In that day, I will restore the fallen house of David. I will repair its damaged walls. From the ruins, I will rebuild it and restore its former glory. The time will come, says the Lord, when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. Then the terraced vineyards on the hills of Israel will drip with sweet wine. I will firmly plant them there in their own land. They will never again be uprooted from the land I have given them, says the Lord your God. So you have been planted. Like, like God told Peter, on this rock I shall build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Hallelujah. So they will never again be uprooted from the land that I have given them, says the Lord. I will firmly plant them there in their own land. You are being firmly planted by the Lord and nothing can uproot you. And this is a time of acceleration. It says the time will come, says the Lord, when the grain and grapes will grow faster than they can be harvested. This is a time of of fruitfulness. This is a time of acceleration and growth. Things are going to be happening a lot faster now. You're going to see a a big harvest. So much of a harvest that you won't even have time to even to even reap it, if that makes sense. You won't have time to reap it. It's just going to be there for you. It's going to be so much. Hallelujah. Um you may even need help to steward it and to harvest and to reap this bountiful blessing. That's how big the blessing is coming in for you. So, yes, thank you, Holy Spirit, because I just didn't know how to reveal this um, message. I'm thankful for the Holy Spirit for um, giving me this vision. I do receive it for myself, and I do pray that this message bless you. God loves you, and so do I.